Coping with a crisis. Parkview Behavioral Health Hospital has a new plan in place to help treat hundreds of patients after a local pain doctor's practice was just shut down. News Channel 15's Holly Campbell joins us now with how the hospital is handling a spike in patients. Well, Dr. Michael Cozy's office has been shut down for about two weeks now. That means more than 1,700 patients are without a doctor. And now Parkview Behavioral Health is launching a new strategy to help them find a new doctor or addiction treatment options. Parkview Behavioral Health Hospital has been busy the past few weeks. Phone calls and people showing up in the in the ERs and so forth, uh, looking for refills, questions to how they can help manage their pain now that the physician is no longer in practicing. With Dr. Cozy's office shut down, his patients aren't sure where to turn for care. That's why the hospital developed a new strategy to deal with the spike in patients. People seeking help can now call a helpline and find out what options they have. We'll help uh, triage the patients and, and determine a strategy for them and how to manage their pain and whatever uh, issues they may be experiencing. Director of Clinical Services Sean Fingerly says initially he expects primary care doctors and Parkview's pain specialist to see an uptick in patients. Then he says he expects the Behavioral Health Hospital to see a spike of patients who switched from painkillers to heroin. We anticipate that that will probably happen in the near future as well when people figure out they can't get the opiate to the degree they were before. So heroin is a natural progression for some of those folks. As a result, detox and addiction treatment will also be a focus as the hospital moves forward to help treat Cozy's patients. You're not going to die from the detox of opiates, but it's very uncomfortable. And so to help people manage through that, uh, through that and help them be comfortable is, is what we want to do. But, but beyond that, we also want to connect them with treatment. If you're looking for help, you can find the helpline phone number on Wayne.com. You can also contact the health department. Holly Campbell, News Channel 15.